Hey, this is Mark Paladus. Thank you once again for joining me for episode 8 of Prison Architect Let's Play. I think, to be honest, we're going to have a problem. Um, our prisons are pretty much agitated, mainly about, well, drugs, reading, but also privacy. Privacy is going to be a big issue. And I've been doing some reading about this, and you need to have dormitories with at least 12 spaces, squares, per prisoner for this privacy in, um, need not to increase. So I'm thinking, yeah, um, I may have been a little bit too ambitious with everybody being in bunks. So I think what I'm going to do for this section here, I'm going to make it so it's uh, single cells, and then I'm going to probably turn some of these into single cells, just to try and head off any massive privacy problems. Um, individually I can probably deal with it, but otherwise it's going to be a bit tricky. So let's unpause the game and move on. So currently everyone's agitating because they need to eat, that's fine. So get some food guys. And everyone calms down. When well, they have food in their belly, which is always good. Yeah, excellent. This guy's called Perfect. <laughs> James Perfect. Okay, anyway. So that's that taken care of. Now let me just see, in terms of grants, if I can take any grants and get some more cash in. Um, we'll take that. And take that as well. Because we just need to assign three prisons work in the kitchen, which I kind of didn't want to do. But... I might just do that in order to get the grant. Right. Yeah. So really, it's only privacy which is the main issue here. Drugs we're kind of dealing with through the drug program, and literacy is going to um, take over itself once we employ people in the library, but they need to attend classes and get a foundation education. So let me just check about the programs and make sure we are doing pharmacological, which we are. Carpentry can't do yet. Um, yeah. What we need to do is unlock tasers. That's one thing that I meant to do and haven't done yet. Where is tasers yet? In order to do that, I need to unlock the armory. But that's okay. There's nothing else here I desperately need. Prison policy? Not that desperate. I'm thinking, um, probably get a second armed guard in now. Not armed guard, sorry. Oh, hello. What are you dressed in? Oh, it's his father. Okay, why, why are you... Why are you want... Where are you going, exactly? Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, buddy, that's... Yeah, okay, I'm going to have to do something about that. Um, I don't want them making a beeline and going that way out, so I'm going to lock that shut. They're all doing it. Um... Yeah, go back guys. You can go find another way out. That's not cool. Right, now let's start expanding the... the new block. Now in order to do this, um, I'm going to make them slightly smaller than this area. I made this slightly bigger because it was a dormitory, but seeing as these are not going to be dormitories, I don't see the point of doing that. So let's plan this out. We want a one square around the outside. So I'm just um, get some boundaries up here. That's going to be the max of the cell block. Now, each of these is going to be your standard 3 by 2 One, two, three. Is that? No, that's not right, is it? 3 by 2 I'm going to make some of these slightly bigger um, than others in order to satisfy the prisoners who have actually earned the right to have a better cell than the others. So let me just do that now. Oops, that was completely messed up. No, let's do that. There, that, that, there. That'll be that. That leaves a gap here, which we can use for solitary, I suppose. That's not a problem. Um, now, we're going to have some slightly bigger cells here. Let's do, a, say, a 4x4. Four four. The prisoners who have been it's not actually bigger, is it? Let's do that. So it's what one, two, three on the inside. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's see how this works. One, two, three. One, two, three. And again, another solitary. I think we probably should actually do it facing the other way. 
that we can squeeze some more cells for solitary out of those. And then we'll put oops, one in each one. There we go. And the central corridor, which only needs to be one wide, quite frankly. And we'll mirror this. Not if you can't click the mouse properly, we won't. Um, and it goes as three, so it's basically three by three. either. Right, so I'm going to put that across like so. I think mirroring's probably good on the eye here. It's just easier to uh, to set up as well in the first place. And again, more solitary cells down at the bottom here. And what else have we got? We've got a security office, haven't we? Mm. Okay, we can do that. Um, so we've got cells back to back. One, two, three. Down. So just mirror this across, basically. We could put in a small security office, I suppose. Put it down here. So we're not going to have quite the same capacity as we would normally, but say put security in here, perhaps. Let's just do this, do that. Let's create the final cell here. So that's going to be there. Right, so at least a bigger gap out here. So we could actually make these cells a bit bigger, I think. Yeah. I'm going to pause the game a second and um, try and optimise this rather than you having to watch this. It's not very exciting, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I'm back. I think this is a, a better way of doing this. And what we've got here is we've got a small security office down here. Um, we've got lots of cells in, the, in a better layout than I had previously. I think this will work quite nicely. And... Uh, We'll put showers along the outside for everybody. Um, actually, you might, might turn this into a shower area, to be honest, as well. We got... No, we're going to keep these as solitary. I think we're going to need those as, uh, as solitary uh, blocks. Right, so that's done. They're going to share um, a common room area as well. And obviously the yard. So I need to uh, just put in a marker here uh, to allow a couple of doors into the yard. We could get them to go all the way around because then they'll go through metal detector. So I, I need to think about that. But in the meantime, what we can do is we can press on with this. We can get our guys to start building walls. So the actual structure of the cells will take some kind of shape. And once I've done one side, I can then clone this to the other side, and that should make life a bit easier. Okay, that's that, and that's that. I'm not going to do too much here, otherwise we get kind of um, loads of trucks arriving, and it tends to get backed up in storage, and it causes all sorts of problems. So let's speed things up a little bit there. So the laundry's going fine. We've got people working. We've got people attending class, hopefully. Yep. Now what are they teaching? Let's find out here. They're doing reform program, which is what? That's probably the foundation, isn't it? So hopefully we'll, what we, we'll be able to deploy. Still, no one has the right qualifications, but we'll be able to deploy those soon. Let's just see if we can employ any more CIs. Nope, can't. However, our CIs that we've got are slowly getting to know the actual layout of the jail. Getting more percentages, which is what we want. Um, what we're looking at. Supply quite a bit. Okay. Right. Now, the other thing I wanted to look at was pressure pads. Now, pressure pads um, can be used alongside door servos. So, when the visitors arrive in the morning and come through this staff door here, they don't have to wait for a guard to open up for them. Um, now, you could put it on remote control, obviously, but um, you can only fit so many to one of those controls. So, I'm, I'm keen to maybe use a pressure pad. I've never used one before. And um, I'm interesting in looking at how they work. Now, are there any utilities? Yeah. So send the signal to the connected objects wherever something's on top of the pad. So I'm assuming that connects to a door servo. How much are they? 100. Yeah, that's cool. Well, let's, let's give that a go. I've never used pressure pad before, so I'll stick that in there. And I'm going to put a door servo on here. 
and maybe link the two together. I think that's how it works anyway. So let's let's uh, do that and see if that is actually how it works. I've also thought pressure pads seem a little bit dangerous to be honest, but okay, so the armor is still going. And we're getting all these walls, boys. It's all looking good. It's the storeroom. Did I not create a storeroom again? Uh, doesn't. No, I didn't, do I? Or did I? Oh, yes, I did. Storage, of course, that's there. Okay. Right. So, what I'm going to do now, now they've done that, is create the rest of this. So once we've got the basic structure up, we can then start filling it with things. Now what I'm hoping is that some of the prisoners who have been good will get moved into here, into these single cells, once I kind of equip them quite nicely to make sure that they get the privacy to go down. And then round the outside, we're going to be sticking some shower heads. So how many? Yeah, I was sticking a shower head outside each each cell because that's what we did before. That seemed to work. Um, yeah. And then round here, we'll put two. Let me think, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, yeah, that's not enough, is it? Let's let that flesh out and finish itself off. Right, let's have a quick look at needs. Yep, it's all good. Again, privacy is a problem. Drugs has gone down slightly. People are doing spirituality. Recreation. Well, they've got access to the common room, so hopefully they'll be using it. Where's the common room? Yep, they're in the common room. Good. It's being used as a lesson, but that's fine. Now, can they get any bad stuff? Uh, dangers, there we go. So they, the, only, the only areas they can get stuff from is kind of down here. And it's all metal detected when they move up, so that's good. Oh, pyroid. Another one there. Once you actually start looking for them, you can spot them. <laughs> but otherwise you can't. Right. So in terms of prisoner intake, we've still got a load of medium sec to bring in, so that's cool. I am going to employ another dog handler. No, we've got two dog handlers, haven't we? We haven't got two on assigned to a patrol, is that because this one's sleeping? I think we have got two to on a patrol, haven't we? One there, and one there. Yet yeah, this... This Grant hasn't disappeared. Oh, it's because it's two armed guards as well, of course. Right, so the armory's going to be ready shortly, and I need to um, basically zone it. So we can have... Um, tasers being rolled out. So I'm going to have to expand the prison, I think and create an armory. Now this has got to be well away from prisoners so they can't get to it easily. Oh here we go, look here's the pressure pad. Let's just try and deal with this a minute. Connect. Door servo. Is that going to work? I hope so. Let's just see what happens when um, when they arrive in the morning. That that should work. Open on trigger. Yeah, I guess. Cool, okay. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, where are we? Oh yes, yeah, so I was going to do the armory. So I'm going to put the armory down here, and I think I might make it a completely separate building. Yeah, I will. Um, it doesn't have to be massive, I don't think. No, in fact, there's no space specified necessary at all. So what I'll do is I will demolish this fence because I don't want it to be anywhere near this fence. Uh, where are we? Demolish walls. So I'm going to Yep, 
yeah, let's get rid of that. And then I'm going to get rid of those two as well, just on the perimeter. Oh, was that working? Oh, we didn't, oh yeah, it looked like it did. Excellent. Oh, that, that's really easy then. Okay. So that should let all the all the um, the visitors in in the morning. So that's that's nice. I like that. That works. Didn't realize it was that easy. Obviously, only having them on the outside, having them on the inside would be uh, somewhat foolish. Um, is there anything else we can use? Pressure pads? Uh, yeah, hang on, buddy. Where are you going? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Where are you going exactly, Ed? It's not the fact you want to get over to this side. Yeah, that's a little bit suspicious. I'll search you. I'll also search your cell. Meanwhile, I'm going to mark that stuff anyway, because you shouldn't be going there. Back off, buddy. Ah, all attending class, that's nice. These guys are the keeners. They want to sit with uh, maximum attention to the to the tr uh, teacher. These guys like that. Yeah, we're going to sit at the back. Ah, <laughs> you busted. So busted, dude. Acting very suspiciously. Right. Now, while I'm here, I should really mark this as staff only as well, but I guess the boundary's gone, so I can't do that anymore. Right. Good. That's done. Now, let's get the foundations up for the armory. It's going to kind of match this building here. Let's do... Let's do that. It's probably big enough. And the door is going to be... A jail door. In fact, I'm going to make it no solitary door because they're like roughy tufty, aren't they? Gel door in there. Cool. Right. Assign two dog handlers to a dog patrol. Well, this doesn't need to be working because they do. They have both been assigned to a patrol here. Dog patrols. Oh, I see what's happening. They go to 100%, but the grant doesn't get done because I haven't got two armed guards. Yeah, okay. I get it. To get this grant, we need to assign three prisoners to work in the kitchen, which we can't do until they've had their training. So let's do a kitchen program. In order to do that, though, we're going to have to stick a metal detector on the kitchen door as they go out. Um, yeah, let's start one kitchen. Do dab. All rooms are staff only. Yes, that's a very good point. Uh, shared. And I'm going to stick a metal detector on the outside of here, so when they leave, they get detected. And if they come out this way, they get detected as well. Ha! I appear to have thought of everything. Um, stop, and then... Oh. No, that's gone. Where's it gone? Kitchen, start. And then kitchen, yes. I'm going to do one. I'm not that keen to get these guys up and running here, to be honest. Ah, oh, that was quick. Right, okay, cool. Solitary door. Right, let's get the fence back up. Uh, fence. Fence, why am I not seeing fence? There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is on either side of the door there, I'm going to put more doors because they don't need to get easily into the armory. Uh, that's not done yet, is it? Okay. No need for the prisoners to get there at all. Because prisoners with shotguns is not a good thing. Right, has anyone passed the. No, they don't. Come on, guys, it's just foundation. Has anybody here got a reputation I need to know about? Doesn't appear so. Yeah, that's not very clever, is it? Uh-oh, I hear agitation. Is he starving? Really? Oh, he might have been in solitary. Food, yeah. When's food time? Hmm, they got some hours to go. Yeah. Okay, well, hold on, guy. Food's coming. I wonder if maybe we should do a food at, in the middle of the day as well. That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, everyone gets to eat in the middle of the day. It cuts down on work time, but that's okay. I can live with that. Alright, okay, so everything's up here. That's cool. 
compared to Mr. Wall there, so let's put that in. Now why are these boxes just sat here? It's like a storage is full. It probably is, isn't it? I need a bigger storage. Do, 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 do. Where can I have that? Um, yeah. Alright. What I need to do then is build... No. I'm gonna put... Yeah, I will actually. I'm gonna put storage onto here. Let's build that as a perimeter. Put some wall there. And then we're gonna make a storage here. So let's remove that. Now we're gonna make that storage. We need a big storage block, quite frankly. Let's wait till that fence disappears. I'm gonna stick it on the edge here. Canteen can still keep moving that way. And this can be the storage here. So that works for me. Here's we've missed uh, a concrete tile down there. Lots of dinging. Does that mean armory's done? No, still not done yet. Dogs doing their job, picking up all this all this nasty contraband. Yeah, see we got two dog handlers on. Just need the two armed guards. Which is taking its time. Three hours, six minutes of game time to go. Okay. Right, the fence is gone. Excellent. So let's get the foundation down for the storing. Let's just do that. Just for the sake of neatness. Uh, objects, door, staff door only. Do that. Concrete tiles. And let's put some grass up there just because we can. That's nice. Okay, mm intelligence points. Still nothing. Okay. Alright. There's some rowdy going on. Where's the rowdy? I can hear it. I can hear punching. Where do we not have eyes? Oh. Hello. He's quick. He's stoical. Right. We get another officer in here, please, thank you. Why didn't my camera pick that up? Oh, it's damaged. Oh dear. I need to bash up the laundry, dude. Seriously? Oh well, can't be helped. Um, okay, great, so the storage is up, and uh, let's get the storage marked, and we can get all our good stuff moved in here now. Let's do that, and then we can unmark the storage here, which is not fit for the job. And we can run some utilities, not that it's really necessary for storage, but there we go. What is necessary, however, is running electricity up to here. And probably along as well. Now, speaking of electricity, maxed out on the old capacitors there, so let's deal with that before that becomes a thing. Number two. Ah, eating. Good stuff. Right, now what do we need to do here? We need to make this a perimeter, I think, using a brick wall this is just that much better. And then once we do that we can then unlock that door so the guys can come around. Let's put some concrete tiles down here just to speed up access. Like so. And then we'll expand into this as necessary. Right, the next thing we need to do is... Is that wise? No. It's probably not very wise, is it? Small pipe to there. Uh, start feeding the showers. Like that. 
that. I did, yeah, wall's being built. Good. But they're busy moving all the stuff out of storage. Okay, was that a dingle for the armory? It was. Cool. So let's get tasers and body armor. Still got a little bit of cash, so that's fine. So this is going to be the armory now. Armory, there we go. And it needs a weapons rack, a guard locker, and a table. Weapons rack. Guard locker. And a table. Table, table, table. Cool. That is done. Armory is in. Just need some electricity. And that's that sorted. Good stuff. So now our guards will have tasers, but in order to give them the tasers, I need to create a program for them to do taser training, which is locked, because we need to, of course, unlock taser rollout, which we haven't quite done yet. Okay, so a brick wall's being built. Be happy with the uh, kind of brick wall around here, makes more sense. And they're all sleepy. So it's time for a cell block search. Oh yes it is. Still not seeing anything I should be concerned about. That's cool. I remember having a prison once where I had 99% um, coverage on one of my informants. It was glorious. Nothing went on in the prison without me knowing about it. Very nice indeed. Oh, got a shank. Please about that pressure pad working properly. Or else I could put one realistically. Oh yeah, anyway, okay, well look, the kitchen door's done, so let's um, put a metal detector on there and plug it into the electricity, and that's going to be my final action for today because we have come to the end of the episode. And that is looking good. We've managed to uh, expand here. We've managed to well, get a much better, a much bigger storage area. We've got an armory now, um, and it's all looking like an actual proper prison should. So I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you have, please leave a like or, and or a comment, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye.